my god! Oh, did you get that? Yeah, oh what my was god. That? that was about a seven foot black tip shark. Oh. And it just ate our fish. It's all gone. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that'll get the adrenaline going. I saw a big boy do that to my shrimp last night. colors I'm using the glow shrimp and uh, we're using shrimp fire gel today and I could still feel it right in there nice little trout so one thing that I don't appreciate is when we're fishing and the weatherman is right and today he was right uh, we got winds coming right now they're east northeast and then they're gonna switch due east but they said they were gonna be actually he's a little wrong because they said they were gonna be 5 to 10 we're getting anywhere from 15 to 20 right now. And all the places we wanted to fish for reds, they're, it's rough, the wind's too strong. So really we're tucking in, we're switching gears today. We caught so many reds yesterday, we're gonna try to catch a bunch of sea trout today and move inside and just get a lot of action because this wind has got most of the areas we wanna fish just out of touch. So we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna tuck up in tight and see what the day brings us. But today has turned into a sea trout bonanza. That's okay. These guys love catching fish, getting hooked up. Enjoy this day with us here on the South Carolina coast. Is it a ladyfish? No, it's a pinfish. That's bait, big boy. Mm. Mm. Normally these are perfect bait. bait stealers. They'll steal your bait right off your hook. You hit good though. Sling him in. It's a rest. Not sure where this one is yet. I think it's a trout. Oh, you see it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Better trout, too. It's getting a little better. So we're on day three and the wind picked up and the current and the wind are going the same way. So it's ripping, it's starting to get dirty again. Um, so we've kind of had to mix it up a little bit. Uh, I've gone to a heavier rod. This is, a, this is a six foot six medium heavy. And I just got the same 2,500 Florida fishing products with 15 pound braid. Uh, the reason I went to a heavier rod is just so we can throw it harder and throw into the wind and get better casts. And we've got a popping cork. I like to put a leader above the popping cork. I got about a four foot leader. So I can cut this and add a jig head if I want to switch it up or I can leave it on there and when it's in the air that helps avoid some tangles with that braided line. And then I went down to, so I went from 30 pound above, nice and strong. If we get snagged, we can get the float back at least. And then I dropped down to 20 pound mono. And this is a Z-Man EZ shrimp in the Glow Chartreuse. Just something they can, something they can really see down there. And then I'm using a Nedlock. This is a size one hook, 10th of an ounce. You can use chartreuse or black. We've got some chartreuse here, so we'll put a black head on. And I did add a small split shot about halfway up my leader. And that just kind of helps keep that shrimp down a little bit with all these tough conditions we have right now. And then we're just using, uh, we're using shrimp today. And we've caught a number of trout and a couple small reds. So this shrimp seems to be working real well. And we're fishing with a shrimp, so it makes sense. I'm just gonna dip some of that down in that cavity down there. That'll stay all day. And we're about to cast back out, see if we can catch some more. Hey, a nice sea trout. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. oh no! no. <laughs> oh, it's a little redfish. Come, oh, he gone. <laughs> 
the, the winds are picking up and we don't know how long we're going to be out here today just because we're starting to get rollers coming over the side of the boat As a matter of fact big boy had to sit down he's losing his balance but we're, we're moving pretty good the only thing we can do is focus on trying to get some sea trout right now but just take a look at what's going on here it's a redfish how do you know do you see him Oh, it is a redfish. Hell yeah! Redfish. Redfish. Now today's episode of Pilot's Outdoors was one of those days where we honestly didn't know if it was worth going out. Before we got out there, I called them and said, hey, should we go out today? And Avid Angling told us, guys, if I had a trip today, I would have canceled it. The tide is wrong, the wind is wrong, and there's a system coming in. Sure enough, we went out because we were there. And using the different techniques we did today, we did extremely well. We used artificials coated in shrimp fire gel. Mostly he wanted to try out the new shrimp and it worked really well for us. But it just shows us if you work hard during times like this where the pressure can be bad, the tide can be wrong, and the winds are coming out of the wrong direction, you or anybody else can be successful here on the South Carolina coast chasing redfish and sea trout. Now you also get to see just an awesome scene. You never want to see a small fish get eaten. But sure enough, Captain Mike went out there and he was reeling in a nice little redfish and a huge shark came by huge for this area, huge spinner shark or something like that and jumped right out of the water with that fish, gobbled it up and we got to see a show all right in front of us. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.